appreciate y'all being here. Um, I just want to open up by saying that, you know, this is why you coach. And to sit next to Cam Fisher and to be in the dugout with Jack Dragham and Austin Knight and Jake Cunningham and Caden Hobson and Will Butcher and all those guys, um, it's the coolest thing. And I hope that I hope that everybody in whatever line of work you're in gets to ex gets to experience the feeling that I've gotten to feel, uh, you know, throughout the day, certainly earlier today and uh, over the over this run the last few weeks because, you know, it's uh, this is why you do it, and uh, couldn't you know couldn't have more respect uh, for for the Tennessee program that just played a really great game tonight. Um, again, it's 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 going to kind of sound like a broken record from, you know. Uh, our first game against them, but the, the margin for error against that program is razor thin, and they don't they don't miss mistakes, and they make all the plays and then some, and they just you know they're just a really talented, well coached, well rounded ball club. So, um, you know, certainly um, want to acknowledge them, and um, you know they're going to be a very tough team to beat in a three-game series in a super regional based off what the way that they played against us because um, we were playing you know i felt like we were playing a very high level of baseball coming into this this regional and our guys emptied the tank and uh, for them for them to, perf to to play like that two games against us was is impressive so um yeah that's essentially it um also i also want to make sure i acknowledge uh, clemson university for um just a first-class regional. I've been very fortunate to be a part of numerous regionals over the course of my career, and this is this is right up there with all of them, um, top to bottom, first class from the from the moment that we left campus with the communication until this press conference right here. So just um, couldn't respect Coach Backage and the Clemson baseball program anymore. So Quite thank you. Um, that's a great question. You know, I, I think, I think the moment when we were in the dugout, just us, just the team and the coaches after the celebration, when we won the conference tournament in Houston, I think I'll remember just that feeling of, and telling the guys that, that this group showed that they can overcome anything and life's tough. There's adversity all over the place. And you know, it was just a few weeks ago that our, our team was 24 and 25 overall. You know, and here we are sitting right here in a, in a regional final, you know, against one of the best teams in the country and, and having, you know, to, to, to play our best game to win a 3-2 game against another top team in the country. So um, this group of players, including this guy sitting next to me, Cam Fisher, they can overcome anything. And you've got future major leaguers, CEOs, business leaders, Etc. All throughout our roster, and I just couldn't be more proud of them. Sure, the front right here, please. Coach, one thing Christian Moore this weekend, just what was your perspective or of what he was doing that made him so difficult to get out? Yeah, I mean, it was he was it was like he was playing a video game, and he had the he he, he had the cheat code turned on. Honestly, um, he was just he was on another level, and. Um, you know, I could even see him kind of shaking his own head when he was coming. He was he was coming towards third, like he kind of couldn't believe it. But um, you know, was, you know, he's a heck of a player, and um, we, you know, we tried to make our best pitches. You know, I even went out there, um, you know, before is it bad, and and um, you know, our guys made their best pitches, and he put great swings on them. Just that's what great players do. Got great stuff, man. He's a he's a proven winner. Plays with a bunch of other proven winners at Tennessee, um, and he's coming at you with you know he's coming at you with everything. He's not afraid to come after you, um, and he's just gonna try. He's gonna pound the zone, and he did that today. He pounded the zone with all three pitches, all four pitches really, um, and kept us off balance. You know he had he had all four pitches working today, and uh, you know. Sometimes you, you just get out pitch. You know, I mean, he had his A game today. You know, he had his A game. Can you look at the back camera. 
campus. Finish is an all American and one of the greatest players in school history, but you know, of, another job is to put the school on platform. Biggest win in school history, yeah. four games deep into the regional. How much satisfaction does that give you? Yeah, you know, a lot. Um, I'm, I must have been right with the Lord to be surrounded by 31 guys and six coaches and this entire program, you know. Um, I'm really fortunate, you know. And, you know, just looking back on this season, I was out there in the, you know, I was in the dugout, two outs in the ninth, and I was just looking back on my journey and what's led me here. And, uh, man, I'm just fortunate. And there are a lot of people I know who would, you know, love to be in my shoes. And, you know, I just kind of looked around and I just want to take it in. Like, this is not many people get to experience this. And so, uh, you know, in a roundabout way, man, I'm just, I'm just blessed. Anything else? One more for Kirk. Kirk. If you can, big picture, what's this do for your program as, as you go into a new conference and you try to take the next step in being a perennial? Yeah, just, um, you know, for me, um, we came to Charlotte to go to Omaha. And, you know, we haven't said from the beginning that we would do it overnight. Um, we didn't say we would do it right away. Um, but we came, we came here to take the Charlotte program to the College World Series. And we're going to do whatever it takes. And I'm a big believer just in observing other programs that have been to the College World Series and have had great success and programs that we have tremendous respect for. But, you know, those programs, they just – you have to knock on the door before you go. You have to and, – and sometimes you have to knock on that door for a number of years. Um, you know, but we knocked – you know, our team, we knocked a little bit louder this year. And that is something in my experience that – you know, sends the message to our recruits, to our returning players, to our family, our families, our support staff, our you know, our entire university, our entire city, that Charlotte baseball is, you know, we're on our way. And like I said, I'm not up here saying that we're going to go next year. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying at some point in time, we're going to go to the College World Series in this uniform, and I can't wait to be a part of it because this is my home. This is where I grew up. This is Toby Bicknell, this, this is his home, this is Tyler Simmons' home. You know, the three of us are Charlotte natives, you know, and then everybody else who's not from there has made Charlotte their home. And we care a lot about it. And, you know, the way you want, hope, you know, hopefully you can tell by the way our guys play the game, we play for something that's bigger than just winning and losing. And that's going to be the difference maker and what helps us get over the top. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.